In this tutorial, I, we are going to learn about Don and Maui. Open up Visual Studio <coughs> and install the latest version 2022, then create a new project, then search for the Maui template right there, and we get the Maui templates. We have a Blazor, a class, but we just want the Don and Maui app. Next, and then this is going to be Maui Math App Tutorial. I'm naming it like that. You can name whatever else you want, but I'm just naming Maui Math App Tutorial. That's done. Let's click the next button. And we are using the Net7 standard term support. You can use Net6, it's fine. Click Create. And it is creating the project and here we go let's close the app window but wait just let's just close the maui math app tutorial overview first and now close the app window let's go ahead and remove the main page delete there's the delete button and okay now you can see my dependencies right there they have gone a bit of not okay right there so i mean they will be okay in a minute because it's just my what's that called intelligence is starting and you see they've done now right click add a new item well i think i think it's better to add a new folder before we do all this let's add new folder let's call this views let's add a new another folder and let's call this view models Right now, we need something to be put into the views and the view model. So, right click on my views, add new item. This is a Don and Maui, Don and Maui con page, and let's add this. Let's call this our welcome page. Okay, let's add this, and it adds our thing to the views. All right, there it is. Now we will need a little bit more of these, so do we need a new folder maybe? Let me see. Well, I don't know why I needed to create a new folder. It's just, well, I get this sometimes. Anyway, new item, done a Maui Con page again. And this is our subtraction page because this is a Maui math app, right? Math, math app, math app. So this is a subtraction page. Let's add that. Okay, and let's close both of these. They are opening for no reason. Let's add a new item again. And this one time we'll call this our addition page view model. No, no, addition page only. Yeah, that's like that. Add it. Now we need to add a few more views, like I think only three more maybe. I don't know, I'm not sure. But we'll see through what we're going to do. Now you have three right here. Let's add a new item again. And I'm going to call this one, this time, our tests page. This is our test page where we will see and show him all the tests that's going to work. Let's add a new item again. And I'm going to call this one learning page. And this is where you will learn mostly about what we just do and how they do it and let's now you've got five views I think we'll have to add one more maybe I'm not sure not sure let me see just there um well I think we'll have to add one more to so that let's see cancel the build I accidentally build it just cancel it and close the output window and you can see I'm changing this to a Pixel 5 API right now. You can go through the tools to Android, Android Device Manager, and you will find your Android emulators. You can simply click New on the top right, and you'll get your emulator. Choose whatever you want. All right, and now let's add a new view. You want a content page. This is called the number line page. And let's add that. Now we have completed with the views. 
you can see that that just became observed for um, a few minutes a few seconds I say add a new item the class remember this is a code class and we're gonna call this our number line test page number line page remodel all right that's done now let's add we will need around four more of these so let's add new item again new item wait a minute wait new a new item again and this is a class we're gonna call this time our addition page view model that's it now let's add once that's done let's add a new one new more new me new view model and let's call this our subtraction page view model okay let's add now we'll need two more add new item again this time we'll call this our well i think we should call this our welcome welcome page maybe let me just see yeah we have three ready there yes welcome page we're gonna call this welcome page view model and add i just pressed enter i did not do my mouse cursor let's see we have all of these yeah so we need to add one more the test page view model and let's add new item again this is a code class and we're gonna call this test page view model all right there we're calling it our tests page view model and i'm gonna click the add button <coughs> now this is an internal class as you see so let's put a um maybe let's inherit it first one observable object okay now um let's go here and add a new wait, wait a minute where am i gonna Sorry, we have to add a ma manage new get packages and then go to browse and get the community toolkit and VVM. And you'll see that it pops up right here. Remember to install the latest sys table and it will install. I can accept. Okay, there it is. It's installing. And you can see that the tick has not come, that means that it's still not yet installed completely. And there you are, that green tick sign has come over. And you can see we'll have to remove all these usings, delete them, and write using community toolkit dot mvvm dot component model semicolon and observable objects not happy with what I actually just did right there for some reason there's a problem that just happened right there maybe because of the spacing give a space on the top I see. what's the problem here let me rewrite observable object um, is that an issue somewhere um uh, oh well, well of course i'm trying to get the name space to ha inherit but you can never do that close my up window just now and you can see i'm gonna remove this and i'm gonna change this to a public and make this partial class test page model and put a semicolon and i can only inherit this of course from an observable observable object and that's done now you can see that it automatically adds the community toolkit and vvm component model now we want a public tests page view model let's open the brackets open the other brackets that's done now let's go on well i'm gonna change these and make them all inherit from an observable object let's change this to public uh oh what I um whatever I can control Z that partial class number line page remodel public number line page remodel that's done too now let's go back in the subtraction page let's change this to a public 
partial class and that's done let's put a semicolon in front of it let's remove all these usings and right down there we can create a public subtraction page view model and open the brackets and two curly brackets outside the two round brackets that's done you've got this done let's go to the next one which is our whatever that is it's our tests page right there so we'll go to the tests page and here it is you've got our welcome page the test page we just did so we don't need to do again public partial class welcome page view model let's put a semicolon in front and let's inherit it from an observable object observable object and there you go intelligence adds that community toolkit.mbvm component model again and let's add welcome page view model to brackets to curly brackets and that is it save and you can see that there are these using systems that there are so many of them let's save all right done now let's go one by one you can see here it's fine it inherits here we have not inherited it inherited it so let's just inherit it from an observable object and there you are there it is inheriting from that observable object and just save that let's go on to number line here also we have not inherited let's inherit it again for the colons this observable observable object and that's it that's done there needs to be one spacing between so let's delete that all right save it this is also inherited back in the addition we need we didn't change one thing so let's public it make it a partial class addition page v model and let's remove all these usings though they're not needed now let's make this inherit let's make this inherit so colon observable object that's it now we will write public so for standard public public addition page view model so let's write that public addition page and that until since it opened your brackets and all right so in the next video we are gonna learn about bindings we're just gonna go checking through and you can see there's so many pages we're gonna bind together all of these pages with each other in the next video let's close them all of them close them all close all of them again all right close view models and views so in the next video we are gonna talk about binding the pages together don't worry it's not gonna be so hard it's gonna be easy